and gentlemen, we return to the action here inside the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in beautiful Tulsa, Oklahoma. This is Boxing. This is Top Rank. Brought to you by Hall of Fame boxing promoter, Mr. Bob Arum, and in association with Holden Boxing. And brought to you this evening by Boost Mobile Money is Power. This bout is scheduled for four rounds in the lightweight division. Our judges at ringside, Henry Ellick, Henry Gary, and Gerald Ritter. And the man in charge at the sound of the bell, Mr. Mark Nelson. Introducing first out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 133.6 pounds, wearing gray trunks with blue trim. His record is perfect. Five victories, no defeats. Three of those victories coming by way of knockout from Los Angeles, California. Introducing out of the red corner, presented in association with Antonio Leonard Promotions. He weighed in at 135.2 pounds, wearing red trunks with white trim. His record, perfect. Three victories, no defeats. All three victories coming by way of knockout from Cleveland, Ohio. Gentlemen, you had your instructions. You know what I expect. A good, clean fight. Obey my commands and protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck to both of you. Fourth fight in nine months for Abdullah Mason. Also a quick turnaround. Last fought 35 days ago in Hinkley, Minnesota. And for his opponent, Angel Rebollar, this is an opportunity of a lifetime against a top blue chip prospect. Okay. He's 5-0, but his... First four wins were in Tijuana. Started boxing as a pro at age 17, and he knows that a win tonight can change his life. Of course, these are big opportunities, and a lot of times, young fighters like this knockdown. young man. Knockdown over here. First Two, knockdown. Three. Wow. Four. That was fast. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Give me your gloves. You ready? There's a complaint from Ángel Rebollar. There was a punch behind the head. We'll have a chance to look at it on replay, but bad start for Rebollar. As Mason, once again, showing his skill. Everything behind the jab and a good defense. And Rebollar tries to close the gap. Rebollar, he's doing the right thing. Yeah. He's doing the right thing. That's, he's not going to win a battle on the outside in boxing. He has to win the fight on the inside. He said, look, I'm a smart, aggressive fighter. I'm going to go in there and try to rough this fight up because I know he's a skilled opponent. Mm, nice left from ooh, Mason and a short right hand as well. As Rebo free, is wild. Oh, nice right uppercut from Mason. Set that up perfectly. Just a matter of time. This fight's just started, but to me, it's almost over. Abdullah Mason at this stage of his career in his fourth professional fight, things just slow down for him. But Rebollar is in his face. Break, he's punch. as tough as they come. Rebollar is, is, is definitely tough. He's game. And he's doing the right thing. He's trying to fight fire with fire because he's going to lose the battle on the outside. Like I told you, in the speed of Abdullah Mason is just it's too much. Nice so getting on the inside is extremely important for his success. Well, left from Rebollar, Mason measures him out and makes him pay after. Stop, don't punch. Be careful. Rebollar, he was sparring Ryan Garcia, Abner Mares, and Pedro Campa for his fight against Teofimo Lopez out there at Manny Robles' gym. You see mm. that straight left from Mason. He's just too quick and accurate. Now it's a short right from Mason who gets caught with an overhand right from Rebollar as he walks out. See, Rebollar, what I, what I like about what he's doing is... He's taking one, maybe two, to get one. And sometimes you have to do that, especially when you're in there with a speedster. 
you got to take risks. And he's willing to take those risks because of the sparring that he had. Bernardo. Oh, nice that right hand shot. to the body. Oh, my goodness. Left hand to the body. Oh. And a straight left. My goodness. Right, well, Yad has no answer for that left hand of Abdullah Mason. Punch. Be careful. Here's and the you bell. You see how smart Mason is Step with back. defending himself with that elbow Time. and uh, forearm. And we're going to take a look. And Tim, you be the judge whether it was a clean knockdown or not. All right. Although it was counted as a clean knockdown. And you see it. Robert Yard, he took that shot very well, but it's all good. You know, Dola Mason showing his class in that first round. Valiant Mason, father of five young men who all box. Boxing Back up. brings Back them together up. in that gym. Okay. So, a 10-8 round, according to the knockdown that was scored, even though it was a cupping shot. Let's see how Rebollar adjusts, because he's found no answer to the left hand of Abdullah Mason. Nice right uppercut Ooh. there from Rebollar getting inside. And look, Mason's young. He, you know, he's right now, he's he's fighting on all cylinders. He needs to slow the pace down a bit, because you don't want to get caught in between those shots. Get off of him. Rebollar absolutely has nothing to lose. Nope. Nice body shot from Mason and then follows it up with a right hand. But there's Rebollar, like Great. you said, Don't willing punch. to take one or two in order to be able to land a shot. All right, Mason. Mason got to learn how to get back into the center of the ring to get that real estate back after he ties up, especially when he's along the ropes. You know, he's staying put along those ropes. Rebollar landed a nice right to the body. Mason loading up a little bit. That allowed Rebollar to land counters. Ooh. But when he lands that, there's no answer for that. Wow. A one, two, and another left from Mason. That left hand has found a home, and it's the face of Angel Rebollar. Hey, but hey, but, but Abdullah, see, the thing is, is that Abdullah's not going down to the body enough. See, Rabbi Yard, he, the thing is, he's tough. He's taking the big shots up top. So you want to go downstairs. You want to soften them up a bit more before you land something over the top. Nice right counter hands to the free. body from Rebel Yard. Rebel Yard is no joke, man. Yeah, he's he's here to fight. He is definitely here to fight. He's fighting like an undefeated fighter. We knew it was going to be a test for Abdullah Mason. You can see the class, and now Mason bleeding from his nose. Yeah. He's in a fight. Yes, he is. This is great matchmaking right here for the young man, Abdullah. He's getting used to knocking guys out, hitting them with one shot, and they fold up. Not this man. Get your hands free. There you go. A lot of head hunting from Adola. Nice setup left there, and there's Rebollar. You cannot admire your work if you're Abdullah Mason because Rebollar is always going to be coming you. back with something. Step back. It's all about the second and third opportunities for Rebollar. That's what it's about. Rebollar continues to work the body of Abdullah Mason. Reboyar's corner is telling him he's getting tired. All right, so we spoke about Abdullah Mason being on Timothy Bradley's top five double stamp prospects, and here they are, Tim. Oh, yeah, time, special time, fighters. Time, time. Absolutely. Okay, time in. Here we go. And we are going to see if Abdullah Mason can continue his winning ways against undefeated Angel Rebollar out of Southern California. He used to fight in the apartment building courtyard with his trainer's son. And this is the first time that Abdullah Mason has ever seen the third round as a professional. Oh, this is so good. This is so great for Abdullah Mason. Rebollar, he is game. He is tough. He's walking through fire to get some. Neutral corner. Right right mouthpiece came flying out there and immediately noticed by Mark Nelson, who Fight gives down. his Keep corner an opportunity to clean it out. Okay. Time in. Here we go. This is definitely a test for Mason. Rebollar came here to win. Mm. Abdullah, honestly, I, I believe he's passing with flying colors. I would love to see him get on his jab a little bit more. You know, he's kind of abandoned his jab and just depending on a straight left hand. 
and the right hook. But you'll recall that according to his father, Valiant, that was the plan. He said, we're going to have a, an aggressive fighter coming at us. How do you get him off you? You start Stop, everything punch. behind the jab. It's okay. But Abdullah's young. Sometimes you get caught up in the heat of the moment. You get clipped by a shot. Abdullah's not used to being hit, and so he wants to get it right back. Oh, there ain't nothing. I, I, I don't have anything against that, to be honest with you. I really don't. That's what you're supposed to do, get it back. Oh, short right there from Abdullah Mason. Mm. And there's that left. Oh, but a nice right from Rebollar. I'm telling you, he's game. He's in this fight. Yeah, well, I might have got hurt by that right uppercut. He's looking a little bit. His body language has changed. Mm. He's coming at, him, coming at him. Yep. And he's doing the right thing. He's hitting the body. It's hard to hit the head. Hit the body. That's what Rabilar is doing. Oh, nice left. Nice hook. You've got. Abdullah so used to get going downstairs from Rebollar, and all of a sudden he gets clipped with the left, and there's that uppercut from Rebollar. Yeah, Abdullah's not going to the body oh. enough. That's a nice left from Abdullah Mason, though. Body work on the way out from Rebollar. Yeah, see, that body work definitely has Abdullah exactly where Rebollar wants him to be, and that's inside. He wants him to sit inside, so that way he can bang on him. He needs Abdullah to cooperate, to win this fight, or have a chance to win this fight. With another left. There's blood outside the right eye of Angel Rebollar. I'm not sure if it's a cut or just from the nose. Time. Let's listen in to Valiant Mason. He has instructions for his son Abdullah. I said the body, right? You gotta shoot, beat up that body. Giving it back to him. Keep missing. You gotta keep trying. You hear me? Don't stand there. Here, boy. Here. Love you, boy. Looking good. Super, super paper cut. Here, 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 here. Touch him up. Touch close. Okay, here we go. Fourth and final round. Ankit Rebollar is gonna come out. Guns are blazing against the young Abdullah Mason. A duel of two undefeated 18-year-olds. Rebollar 5-0. Mason, 3-0, has never been the distance as a pro. Rabo Lard is, is, is definitely game. Abdullah Mason may be winning this fight, but he's going to take a lot from this experience. I got a, just got a text message from Steve Kim. He said, Abdullah needs to keep his chin down. <laughs> he said it's too, it's too exposed, and he's right. Okay, well, yeah, we talked Stop, about the quality sparring he's been getting against Brian Garcia after Mades was making his comeback. You could see that. Yep, that's exactly what that toughness inside the inside the gym, having that tough sparring, got to prepare for a fighter like Abdullah. And that questionable knockdown in that first round may end up being the difference in this fight, Tim. Mason taking some body shots, but then he lands leather to the chin. Oh, yeah. Mason definitely got a lot of work on man, in the inside. He's young. He's used to getting his way on the outside, not having guys crowd him. But look, I like the way he's going down to the body and fighting off the ropes now. But in the inside, one, he has to get physically stronger. He's going to have to get physically stronger. Two, in the inside, he's going to have to learn to dig down to the body. Step back. And getting himself in position. I mean, there's a lot of things that he can do on the inside. From pinning his opponent's guards, manipulating the guards in the inside. I mean, Tim, we're talking about Ooh. strength. Oh, that Knock mouthpiece, mouthpiece came out. flying out once again with a left from Mason. That's been his money punch. See, but the referee hasn't stopped it because... Time. Time. Okay, Mouthpiece. there's a low in the action right there. Okay. But Tim, both fighters 18 years old, mm -hmm. and you can see the physical strength of Rebollar. Fight down. Time. Now, I mean, you're going to have to, you're going to fight guys that's going to crowd you and take that space away from you. 
you know, especially when you like to fight on the outside. So you got to be able to take take his strengths away from him. Stepping around him, tying him up, mm, pushing him work. back, holding him. Now Abdullah Mason bleeding from his nose since the last round. It's like when you are a baseball player, you slide into home base, and you're like, all right, I, I went to work today. <laughs> Abdullah Mason going to go say, all right. I'm from Rebollar, who has Mason up against the ropes. But what a great show oh. from Angel Rebollar. Oh, my God. And Abdullah Mason here. This is great. This is exactly what Abdullah Mason needed. You know, Rebollar, he came to he came to fight. I can't wait to see Reboyad again. Me too. <laughs> that boy, he come and test you, man. He come and test your heart. You know, he might not have a whole lot of skills, but I'm telling you, he lets his hands go. Go back to the gym and work on his inside game, improve that area, work on his strength, improve in that area. I mean, again, he's still young. You know, there's a lot of building blocks for him, but I like I like his form. I like I like this kid a lot. And he's, he's tough. He showed his toughness today, too. He and, had to. And you know what? Rebollar proved that Abdullah Mason has the skill, but Mason also showed that Rebollar is a fighter that can beat a lot of guys in this weight class who are on their way up. Let's set it up to Mark Chinook for the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, here inside the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Tulsa, Oklahoma, after four rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for the official decision. Henry Ellick scores the bout 39-36. Henry Gary and Gerald Ritter both score the bout 40-35 for your winner by unanimous decision. Abdullah Mason! All right, Tim, I got no problem with the win. I have a problem with the shutout. Like, <laughs> this kid came to fight, and he made Abdullah Mason work. He, he won at least one, if not two. Uh, you, you know what? I I, I I can't disagree with that. Um, I'm not the judge. I mean, like I told you, I think Abdullah landed the more cleaner, more effective punches. But it is what it is, man. You know, the right man.